Right now at 10 o'clock, facing a murder charge. Tonight, this fired North Texas police officer is behind bars, all related to the killing of an unarmed teenager. I want to show you a live look now at the Parker County Jail in Weatherford, where Roy Oliver turned himself in a few hours ago. I want to get right to Jeff Paul off the top tonight. Live force at the Bulk Springs Police Department, where Oliver turned in his badge this week. Jeff? Well, the chief says he didn't know about the warrant being issued and says he still hasn't been contacted by the DA or the sheriff's office. But as for the family of Jordan Edwards tonight, there is relief, they say. As they prepare to say goodbye to their beloved 15 year old son, the family of Jordan Edwards learned the man investigators say is responsible for taking him is now charged with murder. This was something hanging over their head. Now, former Bulk Springs officer Ray Oliver just turned himself into the Parker County Jail. It happened less than a week after investigators say Oliver shot and killed Jordan Edwards as he and some friends left a party. It lifts a very heavy burden off of them. No. Attorney Lee Merritt says Jordan Edwards' parents continue to use one word, grateful. It doesn't take away the sting of obviously losing their son, but it does soften the blow a bit. Former police officer, now defense attorney, Pete Schulte says prosecutors will look to see if Oliver perceived something at the scene that wasn't actually happening. You know, what would a reasonable officer do in that situation? I think that's where he's going to have a problem with what we know now, is that a reasonable officer probably wouldn't pulled out an AR-15 assault rifle at a call for a loud party with a bunch of teenagers. Merritt says Jordan Edwards' family is now ready for the long road ahead. They, they won't really be satisfied until uh, there's a murder conviction. Oliver will now go through the grand jury process and likely be indicted for murder. There is another officer who was on scene, but no word what is happening with him right now. Meanwhile, the funeral for Jordan Edwards is tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Friendship Baptist Church in Mesquite. Reporting live here in Balk Springs, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. Jeff, thanks. And one other related note we just learned tonight, the family of Jordan Edwards has filed a federal lawsuit against ex-officer Roy Oliver and the city of Balk Springs as well, citing wrongful death, negligence, and civil rights. North